Okay, so we're live once again. Um, I'm using my phone today, trying to sort out this crackle. So hopefully that will uh, mean that we've got no crackle today. I've probably got no people, I've probably put them all off. Anyway, so today we've got stretch and balance. Um, I'm going to try and give uh, options of being able to do them seated, but they're not all going to be able to be seated today um, because I'm going to go onto the floor. Um, uh, so if you find it very difficult to get on and off the floor, perhaps watch the um, stretches today and have a go at them afterwards uh, on a bed or if you're watching on a phone take it up to your room and do them on a bed. Morning! Um, because doing uh, stretches on a bed is just the same as doing it on the floor pretty much. Um, so it's a really good way of um, uh, compensating for the fact that getting up and down off the floor might be difficult. So we're going to do some really nice uh, leg stretches on the floor, we're going to do some really nice back stretches on the floor and we'll do some balance work. Uh, got a few people here already, so um, we'll just um, just give it another one minute, and we'll start to warm up. I hope you've been enjoying all the stuff that we've been doing. We've tried to cover all bases and put something on every day that might um, appeal to a wide range of people. If you have any ideas for other things we could do, um, then we will definitely look at that and see if we. Um, the skills to put that on for you uh, because the wider audience we can reach the better as far as we're concerned um, let's just see lovely okay so this morning we're just going to warm up we're going to warm up from the ankles up we don't need to warm up as vigorously as we would for um, a cardio or a strength class because we're just going to be stretching uh, and using balance. So we're going to lift a uh, heel and transfer to the other. So foot to foot, if you find that difficult, you can obviously do one foot at the time. But we're just, just going, going to transfer weight from foot to foot, warming up those ankles and just starting to get into the hips. I've not even put any music on today. We've gone nice and quiet, seeing if I can just get it going. So if you just leave your heel on the floor, you can just rotate. You don't need to balance for this. You can just sweep round with that heel, just making sure that you're balanced. Or if you've got good balance, you can just rotate and and the other way. Make sure these ankles are nicely warmed up. And the other foot. You could do this seated. If you didn't want to balance and do this, you could do this seated. And the other way. And we'll take that into a little march. That'll just warm up the hips. And the arms, if we take the arms into the march. And then we can keep the march and just take the arms backwards. See if you can uh, coordinate to change like that. And bigger arms. Make sure you're not below a light fitting. It's a bit different when you do it in your own home. And take the arms forward like you're diving over a wave. Diving. One more. Then the last thing we're going to do is just stand nice and soft knees, feet hip width apart. We're going to keep these hips pointing towards me and just turn the upper body, just the shoulders. You can take the arms as well, but leave the hips pointing forwards. Take them all the way around and the head to look backwards. So it's twisting round but leaving the hips facing forwards. One more time to the left. And last time. 
to the right. And now we'll change that by bringing the hips into it as well. So you're twisting right the way from your ankles, knees, waist and shoulders. One more time to the left. And one more time to the right. Okay, so we're going to do some balance exercises. Um, these are standing, so if you want to grab a chair or have something that you can just um, uh, hold on, this is the up turn table, <laughs> have something you can just hold on to, but just remember if you're doing a balance exercise, the, the absolute way of, uh, of, of making yourself safe is going into that wide leg stance. So if you feel a bit of a wobble, you go into that wide leg stance. It's much better than hanging onto a chair or something that might wobble with you and cause you to fall over. So the first thing we're going to do this morning, you, you, you can just use something for a little bit of balance or you can try and do it just standing, is we're going to do a knee to a touch back. A knee to a touch back. And if you want to do the very hard version, it's knee to back without touching, to knee to back without touching. So you're not touching the floor at any point. And if you want to do an easier version, it's just knee and down, knee and down. So let's just do that eight times on the left leg. Three more. Super. I'm just going to read what's on my screen. Oh, it's telling me that I'm live. I certainly am. So we'll swap to the other leg, to the right leg. Knee and back. Knee and back. We'll do eight more. So I think you probably joined in a couple of times on the other leg before we started counting. So the less you can touch it down, the more you're balancing. And if you're wobbling around that ankle, that's really good because that's the ankle proprioceptors learning how to balance again. Balance only goes if we don't use it. We can get it back. It's not a lost cause. Four more. Two more. Last one. And we'll come back standing. Give those hips a little wiggle. So the next one we're doing, we'll just take a foot with the arch going sideways and upwards and then out to the side. So again, you can just take it and in the middle, out to the side and in the middle. Or the hard, hardest version is to just take it across and out and across and out. Right, we're going to do um, eight. And you're keeping these hips steady in the middle. That's two. I'm actually counting out loud now because I'm realising that I haven't been counting. That's six, two more. Nice soft knee that you're standing on and if you're wobbling that's good because that's you learning. We'll swap legs, we'll do ten on this side. I know I did eight on the other side but I'd already done a couple and I know you will have been joining in while I was doing it. So another eight. So if you can do this, without holding on to anything, then that's you doing really good balance. And if you're keeping these hips solid, then you're working those glutes at the same time. A winner, winner, chicken dinner. Two more. That's lovely. Um, so the last one we're going to do on balance is we're going to do a knee 
and a kick back. So again, you can do a knee, you can just do a knee, and you can put your foot down in the middle and kick back. And remember that wide safety stance if we're feeling a bit wobbly. But if you want to go uh, to full balance, it's knee straight into kick back. So we'll do eight. Knee to kick back. Now these ones I have to super, super concentrate on. Even my wobbliest one. But that's great because that means I'm learning balance. Four more. We've been doing these in my class in Birchover for a couple of years. Last two, and we've been getting so much better at them. Nobody could balance at first. Other leg, knee, actually I'm gonna kick the television. Knee to kick back. I can't look at the screen because I will fall over. Oh, excellent, use that table. Four, four more. wobbles in the knee and in the ankle absolutely fantastic last two I'm not good at counting not on slow things like this without a beat so that's really good um, balance work and now we're going to go down onto the floor so take your time get down onto the floor have a drink on the way if you want and we'll do some stretching So we're going to do some back work and some leg work. So wherever you can get your feet to, you might just be able to put your um, soles together down at the bottom, or you might be able to pull them up. You might be able to get your heels right up to the top here, but um, this is as far as I can go. And we're just going to rest these elbows on our knees and just gently, gently press down. Now obviously if you've uh, got hip problems or you've got a new hip, you won't be doing this exercise. This is not a good exercise, but it's a really lovely exercise for anyone without those hip issues. So we're going to take a deep breath in and as we breathe out, we're going to just push down a bit harder because we can stretch more into that stretch as we're breathing out. It's a really, really, really clever way of just stretching a bit more. And then let that go. We're going to take the feet out the front and we're just going to reach towards the toes. We're not going to bounce, we're just going to reach. And you're just going to pull your toes up towards your hands, as in pull your toes towards your body, and that'll just stretch out the back of the legs. And we're going to use that trick again. We're going to breathe in. And as we breathe out, we're going to reach much further forwards. And you will feel that stretch all the way up your legs, all the way up to the bottom of your back. And that should feel a little bit uncomfortable, but also nice at the same time. And then come up to sitting. I'm going to take these legs wide. Now, I always did gymnastics when I was a kid. I could do the forwardsy backwardsy splits no problem box splits not even close i cannot get a wide leg sit like this at all um, so put your legs where they'll go and we're going to look after this groin area because we don't want to pull it so we're going to just gently reach over to the left side and then we're slowly going to reach forward and sweep round slowly slowly to the right side And then we're going to come back to the left. And then up to the middle. Um, let's do a lovely back stretch now. So we're going to come onto our back, have our feet hip width apart, and we're going to start at the bottom. Imagine that you can feel each vertebrae going up your back. And very, very slowly, you're going to peel your back up off the mat, starting at the bottom, vertebrae by vertebrae. And everyone's got a sort of flat bit about a quarter of the way up, a third of the way up. And you're just going to peel that back up.
vertebrae by vertebrae as slow as you can and then back down top down vertebrae by vertebrae really concentrate on getting them following on from each other as slowly as you can and then right down even through that black flat bit and then right down to the coccyx. We'll do that one more time, vertebrae by vertebrae. Really, really slowly, concentrating on peeling the back up off the floor, as high as you can get it, and back down again. Slowly, slowly, it's really hard get through that flat bit if you've got one most people do and go right down to the coccyx and then pick these feet up so that they're at 90 degrees put your hands out to the side and we're just going to take the legs to the left and turn and look the other way and if we want to deepen this stretch we can take the top leg right over the top of the other leg towards the floor. Keep the shoulders as much on the floor as you can. Bring everything back up to the middle. And take the legs down to the other side and look the other way. And if you want to deepen that stretch, take that leg over the top. We'll do that one more each side. Such a lovely back stretch. Up to the middle and over to the right. Okay, we're going to slowly, slowly, in your own time, roll over and uh, come to the hands and knees and then let yourself down to the floor. I'm going to just go a bit diagonal. Okay, put your hands either side of your chest and take a deep breath in. And then as you breathe out, lift yourself up bending that spine and just look diagonally upwards towards the top corner of your room. Now while you're here take a breath in and as you breathe out allow yourself to sink at the hip area, at the back, at the very lower back area and then just come down and as you're coming down take a deep breath in. So we'll take a deep breath in at the bottom And use that deep breath in to blow out as we're coming up. Take a breath in and breathe out to allow the lower back to drop. And then we can breathe in as we go down. We'll do one more of those. Breathe out. Breathe in at the top, breathe out, allowing everything to just drop a little bit further, and breathe out. Okay, we are going to come up onto hands and knees, and if you can sit back on your heels and have your hands forward, this is a child's pose. I can't sit right back on my heels because I've got a dodgy knee, but you sit right back on your heels if you can. And when you're there, we're going to take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, you're going to walk those hands even further forward. And then we're going to walk the hands over to the right. Keep that head looking at the floor. So you're twisting over to the right, lovely stretch in that side. And then we're walking back to the middle and walk them over to the left. And 
come back to the middle. Okay, we're going to not stand up completely. We're going to stand up with bent knees, wide legs, straighten these legs. We can leave the head hanging and we're with straight legs, wide legs. We're gonna just reach down to as far back near the heels as we can. It doesn't matter where you get to. You might be up here or you might be hands flat on the floor. Ooh. But you're reaching towards the backs of the heels. You're gonna take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, you're gonna walk the feet in an inch and take the hands back an inch. That'll really deepen that stretch. And you should really, really feel that in the backs of the legs. And then bend the knees and roll up slowly, slowly through the spine. Then we'll do one last exercise, stretch to finish. And that's, you can have your feet hip width apart, or if you're a bit more balanced, you can put them together. And we're gonna just reach up and over reaching down with the other hand and to deepen that stretch we can just cross the front foot over and reach again let's go to the other side so have your feet as wide or as close as you want remembering you can always step out into that wide leg safety stance bring it up to the middle deepen the stretch by crossing the legs and just reaching over I think that's it for today 20 minutes lovely all over body stretch some balance work at the beginning if you've got any requests I'll put them in we'll do some back work next week some more we'll do some uh, some more on our tummies with our backs but for today thank you for joining we'll see you soon